How to use the new depth map. Mirror check, God damn it, I'm fresh. Looking like the human embodiment of sex, yes. Today's video is sponsored by the tallest guy in the history, Napoleon. Duplicate your clip, with the second one selected, go to the color page. From the effects library, find the depth map effect, and drag it to your node. Make sure that the quality is set to better, and check the invert box. Activate the map level adjustment. Bring down the near limit slider, until your subject is completely black. Pretend that you know what all those sliders are doing, and jump back to the edit page. Right click to the depth clip, and select to render it in place. Once you've rendered it, you can delete it from the timeline. Right click in your first clip, make it a new fusion clip, and open the fusion page. Obviously you can use the depth map to blur the background, but you can also use it more creatively. Add a transform node, right click to the center value, and select to modify with shake. Change the edges to mirror, and go to the modifiers tab. Set the smoothness to 0.3, the minimum to 0.4, and the maximum to 0.6. Hit the Recede button without any reason, and go back to the Tools tab. From the Settings menu, check the Motion Blur box. Go to your Media Pool, and bring the Depth Clip to your Flow. Add a Bitmap Mask node in Empty Space, and change the channel to Luminance. Connect the Depth Clip to the Bitmap, and then connect the Bitmap to the Transform as a Mask. Add a Glow node. Bring down the Shine Threshold and the Spread to your liking. Right-click to the Gain Slider, and select to Modify with Shake. Go to the Modifiers tab, Bring down the smoothness, and set the maximum to 0.6. Back to the Tools tab. Modify the color sliders with Shake, and use some different values for each color. Connect the Bitmap node as a mask to the Glow. Add a Motion Trails node, and connect the Bitmap again as a mask. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, I have nothing to say.